Hello Abacus user. Welcome to Abacus Acumen for quick and sound learning. Today's session we are going to do a material damage. Now this particular this will be our fourth video in material damage. So we will suggest you to go through our earlier three videos is one on this pendulum impact with material damage then high speed bullet penetrating the solid plate and then uh, charpy impact test. Now this particular things we are going to do uh, with a uh, ductile damage. So this is a very simple problem what we are going to solve. So there is a circular plate with 3 mm thick which is hit by a bullet. So and then it, it just get uh, penetrated. So this is exactly what 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 will model. So a bullet get hit and then you see a metal damage. Now damage evaluation you have different uh, damage criteria within abacus but like a shear failure we already shown in couple of videos so we are going to use a ductile failure here with uh, metal damage so this problem will solve so before solving this problem we'll ju just quickly uh, check what what the different def definition of problem we are going to do so this will be like a uh, modeling material damage in abacus explicit very specifically we are going to model uh, ductile damage here it's not brittle it is ductile damage so there are two components here one is a circular plate or that a uh, impactor which is a 40 millimeter diameter and 80 millimeter depth a steel impactor with very high high velocity like a 400 meters per second it's going to hit now the unit which we are going to use for this is a ton newton millimeter second sorry i forgot to put that here but that is exactly unit we are going to use a circular disc with a 300 millimeter diameter 3 millimeter thickness aluminium and it's impacted with this impactor outer periphery we are going to clamp it so it will be end caster condition so this is part particularly a material damage we are going to set so we'll have a aluminium motor property it's a uh, uh, have a plasticity involved in this so plasticity we are going to model using a two point or uh, like a giving a tangent modulus and then we'll say a frac fracture strain uh, this is this is just a fictitious value I put here just to get to know you how the failure can put but this is a fracture strain you have to put and then at what particular plasticity strain and what particular displacement uh, sub option you can use a failure uh, displacement for this failure is like a 0.2 i use just to see something like a, a, a real failure and then we'll use a automatic general contact and then one important thing to see a failure like this you need to in output you to activate the status so status some failure and plasticity models once you activate you can see a metal damage here so this was a quick things uh, we'll 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 start modeling this. So I'll say new, and I'll just set a directory. I'll just set a directory to new folder. We always recommend you to set your directory. Uh, otherwise, it will go to temp. So we set that first. We'll create a circular plate. shell and um, it will be a planar so I'll put size like a 500 because 300 will be the diameter so we'll put 0 comma 0 and then we'll put a circle and then we'll put a dimension to this R is like a 150 so with this our plate is got ready now I'll quickly put a property here so I'll create aluminium A density will be like a 2.7 e power minus 9 ton per millimeter cube elasticity will be 
70,000.3 will be poison's ratio and then we'll put a plasticity using a two point so it's like 100 you have zero plastic strain and then 110 I'll just go back and check what is 110 and then 0.5 percent so 0 0.5 percent now with this two with this three now this is a basic property now now we'll put a, a damage so within mechanical you have damage for ductile and you have different option now if you, if you see our video on the charp impact test it was a John, Johnson Cook damage now we are going to put a ductile ductile damage so you put on ductile damage and then we are going to put some fictitious small strains 0 0.001 so it's like a 0.1 percent and with that we'll just put what particular plasticity deformation it should be damaged so we are going to use sub option you click on sub op option and damage evaluation and here we'll put 0.2 as a displacement at a failure so it's like a plasticity uh, displacement reach to 0.2 it will going to give a damage failure that's what actually we are going to put so we've done that we'll put this as a section shell which will be have thickness 3 millimeter So it is like a 3.0 and then 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 we'll just assign this done and then 3. So we created our first part a circular disk we are created now we'll create a bullet or impactor will create it will be solid and we are going to put using extrusion so we will put again 0 comma 0 and then, then we will put this is we will just see how much is a so diameter is 40 so aspect ratio is 2 so we will put a diameter here a 40 or radius 20 so 20 radius we have put and then we will put a depth of 80 so that created our solid bullet this will be a steel so we are going to use only linear uh, motor property for bullet and then we'll put a density like 7.85 e power minus 9 and then plasticity like 210 e power 0 3 mpa and then 0.3 as a poisons ratio and this will be like a solid so this is like a bullet we'll say steel and then we'll connect that with the section bullet so we created two components now we'll quickly create a assembly so we already have an assembly now uh, if you look we'll just push it this uh, back a bit so uh, we'll say 0 comma 0 and then X will put some 2.5 just to see how it is damaged so that create clearance also so now if you look here there is a gap now once we created assembly we will create a step we are going to run it for very small time so it is like a dynamic explicit and this will be like a 0 0.01 this will be good enough 0 0.01 or we will put 0 0.02 and then we'll put a friction so we'll say normal behavior and tangential will put a penalty based friction 0.3 and then we'll define a automatic general contact so general contact explicit will put all self contact and then we'll create connected the global property assignment to that so that way contact is defined 
Now we will put a boundary condition all extreme edge is clamp. So I will select all extreme continue and then I will select it and put a end caster condition so that way it is clamp and then we'll give a 40,000 uh, millimeters per second as initial velocity to this so we'll create uh, mechanical velocity and then set will be like whole bullet it will take and it will be in negative z direction so it is minus 40,000 you can see a arrow also so that's we are done now we'll quickly put a mesh uh, first we'll put for circular plate we'll put cord middle axis will click it on so it will give a more uniform mesh sorry then we'll put uh, select uh, explicit and it will be structural element shell s for r and then we'll put a global mesh size 5 and then we will we'll mesh it so we got a good structural mesh for circular plate now we'll put up for bullet uh, we'll say hex and then we'll select middle axis again and then this will be like explicit C3D8R and then this will also will put 5 as a global size and then we'll mesh it so now you can see you have two different part quite neatly mesh so we almost done the meshing now we'll put job but before job before going to job the one important step we'll do that is mainly in output so we'll take output not for 20 we'll take 50 so we can see a good progression of damage and then we'll will this is important you put maximum time interval so it will give a quite easy uh, animation where you can see how material is getting damage and then instead you you have to activate status so you need to activate this to see a metal damage otherwise it will not show metal damage then you have to manually go to and then update the status in plot so if you can put here it will immediately do it so we done that now we'll put a job and then we'll say create material damage that is what actually name I given we'll quickly have a data check if there is something issue then we can immediately make out if you have some issue so it just gone for a data check if there is no issue for data check then we'll submit a run and then we'll just just wait looks like there is no issue related to preprocessor so So we'll submit it and then then we'll just wait for results and once results is out we'll discuss about results. So our results are almost ready. So this is how it looks like. Because we are given a very high time interval, uh, you can see a uh, see lot of things. So it's penetrating and then bullet is moving out. So this is what material damage what we want to show you and you can put in different view so it hit the plate plate is also vibrating once once bullet left it so and then you see all metal get damaged debugs is out and bullet just pass on So it's a uh, good for you good tutorial to understand how you can put a material damage again these are all very tricky metal damage everything is very tricky so 
will suggest you to really uh, use your criteria, get a lot of test data, understand how motor get failure and then you put an appropriate failure there and then you can put this. So, thanks a lot for watching this guys. Uh, again, we will uh, thanks for your support. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to like us and don't forget to subscribe us. Also, if some of your friend or colleague or somebody want to learn Abacus, please pass on this video to them. So that way they can get a free learning of Abacus. Then Abacus is a wonderful software. But once you understand it, and that's where actually we are building this base for a free education in Abacus. So we'll recommend to share with your friends. Thank you. Bye-bye.